Hi, this is Brian Resney, President of Resney Wealth Management. I'm bringing you an important update this uh, Thursday morning in regards to the market and the economy. We had the job numbers come out this morning that were slightly positive. As I've made comments uh, numerous times, the uh, uh, the job numbers are, are slowly, extremely slowly getting a little bit better. This is obviously one of the worst and slowest recoveries in the job market that we've ever seen coming out of a recession. I continue to see that, which is going to obviously put uh, uh, more pressure on the U.S. economy in a slow recovery mode. That doesn't mean that you shouldn't be an investor as long as you are doing your homework and you actually understand which direction certain sectors are headed and which ones uh, you want to avoid. Uh, I continue to uh, like small and mid cap, which we have a, uh, a very uh, big dominance in our portfolios for Resney Wealth Management clients in small and mid cap value, which again have outperformed uh, so far year to date. And uh, I believe that we will continue to see that outperformance. Of course, those can change at any time. And we look at all of our indicators very closely. But small and mid cap again is outperforming the S&P. Um, we have enjoyed a nice rally in those. Uh, we continue to like some of the emerging markets, uh, primarily uh, South Korea. We actually just added, reallocated uh, money to uh, China as the relative strength in China and their markets, I believe are gonna start on the upside potential again. Uh, China, we actually uh, didn't have any position up until a few days ago. Um, we sold it at a profit and we took that profit as we went into the uh, first quarter of this year for a simple reason, it started to get a little bit weaker. Uh, we saw some of the trends starting to go down in China because of the inflationary fears they had. They were trying to slow their economy from a hyperinflation environment, which in my opinion they were successful doing. We're starting to see China kind of come back in that bull-shaped pattern and kind of rebound, I guess is a good way to put it. And so we've actually added China back into our client portfolios and I think we will be well rewarded, but we will be watching those positions closely. One of the big things that I'm looking at is inflation and inflation is starting to rear its ugly head. I don't anticipate Jimmy Carter to inflation, but I do anticipate uh, inflation somewhere in the four to 6% range, which would easily uh, force the Fed to start increasing rates at, at, a, at a more uh, 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 higher uh, elevation or pace than we've uh, obviously seen in the past. So I think inflation's coming back. We uh, have added uh, uh, some of the commodity indexes uh, into our client portfolios as an inflation hedge, which so far have been working quite well. I think investors who are sitting on the sidelines, I think investors who have a, a buy and hold strategy, which is really a lack of investment strategy, um, are really gonna get hurt in this thing. I think inflation is gonna have an impact on your portfolio if you're not in the predominantly stronger sectors, whether that's in the shorter term bond area, floating rate funds, whether that's in precious metals or commodities. I think investors who don't understand how the investment markets work or do not have an actively uh, managed portfolio or actively manage it themselves are really gonna get hurt in this thing. I think there's great opportunities to make money in your portfolio, but you can't sit on the sidelines and you can't not have a uh, buy and hold portfolio. You have to make some adjustments uh, when adjustments need to be made. We always talk about appropriate change when change is due. Right now, uh, you should be making some changes to your portfolio to better your position. Again, inflation is coming back. I believe interest rates are slowly gonna keep ticking up. I think investors who are in long-term bonds are gonna get crushed. I think investors who are in intermediate term bonds are going to get crushed. I think floating rate funds, preferred shares for income are going to be an opportunity. Fair disclosure, we own positions in both of those. I think commodities are definitely going to be one of those areas that you need as an inflation hedge and upside potential in a portfolio. One of the areas that we just recently sold is our precious metals ETF. The reason we did that, I believe we're going to have a temporary pullback in the precious metals market, gold, silver, all the precious metals, and including um, some of the ETFs on the miners, including the junior gold miners and the senior gold miners ETFs. I'm looking for a pullback anywhere from 10 to 20% in those on the shorter term. Long term, I am bullish on the, um, uh, on the gold miners. I am bullish on those on the long term, but I think we're gonna get a pullback. I think there's gonna be better prices down the road. So if you do own any of the precious metals or gold miners, I would not be adding to those at this point. And you may think about taking some profits off the table and re-entering those at a lower price opportunity down the road. I think we will get some pullbacks coming up. 
uh, in the precious metals and I think it's going to give you a great opportunity to add to that exposure. We continue to monitor our market trend indicators, Resney Wealth Management, our indicators that we use are MTIs. We're looking at all our various sectors in the world and in the U.S. economy where we want to be. And as I talked earlier in this uh, broadcast, we, we have a predominance in small and mid cap uh, mostly in the U.S., which has outperformed the S&P. Again, if you don't make changes to your portfolio when necessary, you're going to be basically getting the same results you've always received. Um, this Sunday, we've got some great uh, things that we will be talking about on the Sunday show from 10 to noon, so make sure you do tune in. Go to my website, resneywealth.com, if you want to send us an email question that I will read on the air. And as always, folks, if you need help with your portfolio, if you're finding that maybe the person you have is not a money manager and really what they do is sell investments to you and you're not happy with the results, you're not happy with the service and you really want truly objective investment management from a fee-only money manager acting as a fiduciary, call our firm. We'd love to work with you, get your portfolio back on track in a manner that's constructive for you. And remember, Resney Wealth Management is very uh, in tune with risk management. If you don't have risk management in your portfolio, and we do have a major market correction or sell-off, those are the types of things that you want to avoid. We believe risk management is the most important part about money management. Make sure that you have a risk strategy in your portfolio. If you do not, the next recession is going to come around, the next market sell-off, you don't want to be crushed like you were a year and a half or two years ago or back in the tech boom in the 2000 range. Call us. We'd love to help you. Until Sunday show, make sure you have yourself an extremely profitable day.